Hi everyone! I thought I'd just do a really quick haul video because I've got some new things that I ordered online which came this morning and um, for the gerbils for the new tank change around like when I split the big tank up um, so I needed some new things for that and I thought I'd just show you and then I went to Wilkinson's yesterday and bought some things for the budgie and um, bought like two things um, so I'm going to have to show you like this way round because I'm filming like from the front way. God, my teeth look really weird. Um, yeah, I'm filming from the front way, which means I can't change it round like during while I'm still recording, um, which is a bit weird. So I'll just get started. <laughs> so the first thing I'm for, um, I ordered these on. Et Quine K9 Feline. I always get it the wrong way around, so I hope that's the way. Um, I got these Trixie glass water bottles. Um, I think I said in my last video that I was going to do that, but there's a video that I filmed, um, and it's called, I filmed it the other day, and it was called Budgie, oh, what was it, My Budgie Supplies, because someone requested a budgie haul, um, but basically I did loads of hauls. Um, so I thought I'd just do a video from all my supplies together instead. That was a request and the video was way too long so it wouldn't upload. Um, so I'm going to have to find some way of doing it on my laptop instead of my iPad and cutting it short. Um, but anyway, in that video I talk about I talk about the dilemma that I had with those um, Living World water bottles. At the moment, I had four and at the moment I've only got one that works. So I took the three back. I've decided to replace them with these, but at the moment they've got like temporary plastic ones. Um, so I decided to pick a different brand because they just weren't working, like no water was coming out and then they were leaking at other times. So I thought maybe this one, these ones might work, like I hope that they do. So it's pretty much like looks the same, kind of. Um, on the front, I don't know if you can see, oh yeah you can, um, it's got like measuring, um, a measuring guide, if that makes sense. Um, and then inside, instead of a carrot, it's got a little corn cob, which is really cute. Um, but it, the, like the actual bottle looks the same and everything, um, and like the clips look the same. Um, but I'm just going to show you because I've just taken one out. This is what I do to hang them from the top of my tank and get them too close. Um, I attach that around there, and. Yeah, instead of having it like that, where you could clip it onto the case just like that, I clip it to itself, and then what I do is I hook this on the back. It's going to be really hard to show with one hand. Like, I'll show you on just one side. Like, I'll hook it onto one of the rings, and then the top part, I just bend it over. I can't do it now. Um, I normally have to like lean on it on the ground. Um, I just bend it over and that way it like bends over the top of the tank. Um, maybe a bit strange, but yeah. Um, I took them when I took them back to the shop I had to like re rebend them how they are, like back up. Um, but it wasn't a problem, they refunded them. So I got three of these and they were even a bit cheaper than the Living World ones. I can't find the receipt. Um, the Living World ones are four ninety nine. These are three ninety nine. Yeah, they were, but postage was like two ninety nine. So it ended up being kind of the same price. Like I think I paid like just under fifteen. No, I got um no no, I got a ten percent discount code. So I think it came to like thirteen something. So not too bad. So I've got a spare one anyway. Sorry, that's my phone. For when, um, just in case my remaining one does break, <laughs> it really wouldn't surprise me. And the other thing that came, oh my god, today, that was such a bad close up probably, <laughs> I'm sorry, um, was these, oh dear, <laughs> the bottle thing stuck to it, was these, and this is like a little cave, and I got two of these, I got another one. Um, but this is like the smallest size, which is still quite big. Um, and it's by Exoterra, like the reptile make that I'm obsessed with and I buy everything out of. Um, and I just got it off eBay, I think. And it's made of like, it says granite, but it's granite or granite. 
Um, but it's just made of like resin, so it's really like it's cheap. Even my, my gerbils have got the resin things on there, can't chew them. Like the food bowls. Um, and they were like three pound each. Um, but I think they're fine to fit two gerbils in. Hopefully, I hope they will because my gerbils are quite big, like the ones I want to use it for. Um, but I kind of like that they look natural. Um, but if they're too big for if they're too small for three gerbils, I think I might need the size up, then I'll just get the bigger one. Because um, I think I'm going to get another one for Woody, Pip and Jack. Um, but these are for the the four that I split into two pairs. And one, e one of these each is going to go on either side of the divider of the tank when I do it. And the other thing I got was from Wilkinson's was these four, I can't read backwards, four impeccable sanded perch covers. And they just like, look like that. Um, and I just replaced his one remaining cover with this. Because his cover, it wasn't even like sandpaper anymore, it's like, it was like just cardboard. So it wasn't doing anything to help his nails. Um, I'll show you Merlin quickly, if you can see. There he is. <laughs> Um, he's just been out for like 20 minutes because he was getting, um, he was being so noisy and um, so I don't think I let him out yesterday, I can't remember. I oh, know because I was like, I was out all day shopping and then I was like seeing to the gerbils because there's good news. I've sold, actually I didn't sell them, I gave them away. Um, I've rehomed the two females that I was like so worried about not finding a home for. Um, like this man and his two children. And his wife came to pick them up. Um, so his little boy looked really excited. So that was really nice. Like I just gave them free to go home because um, I just thought they'd go quicker that way. I was getting worried that they wouldn't go because they were like el almost 11 weeks now. So they've gone to him. So I was like packaging them up and stuff for him. I'm printing off like a new care sheet so... That took up a lot of my time yesterday, so Miller didn't get to come out. Um, also, sorry, I don't know whether to look here or look here, so I'm kind of looking at both. Um, also, I've got some kind of news, like something that might be happening soon, is that um, I think I said with Merlin, like he was getting, he's like become really vicious. I like. I think I know what it is now. I think it's that he's become, like from reading up, he's become like really territorial of his cage. Um, and like I know you can like change up like the the setup and everything, but um, I've not done that yet anyway. But he's like a lot more friendly when he's out the cage, but he's just biting at the moment. And it's not just like nibbling, but it's like he bit me the other day and it left like an indent, it left a mark and it kind of hurt. Um, so he's just doing that and then he makes this horrible like squawk when you sometimes go near the cage and it like goes for you. Um, so I think it's just him being ter territorial. So anyway, like I've not really been able to hold him for a while. I've been ha getting him to step up on the perch and then he kind of goes to bite me so I don't really want to like put my hand anywhere near him. Um, so yeah, we've kind of got out of the habit of doing that now, which is kind of upsetting. So I want to like work with him some more and I will be doing, but, um, he, we've kind of gone back to square one, to be honest. Um, which is really annoying because he, he did come like hang, hand tame. Um, so anyway, we're thinking of getting him a girlfriend, um, in the next couple of weeks so because I've got that big cage and um, I've shown in my other videos the big black um, indoor aviary cage so I think I'm going to put them in there um, in my room so yeah I think I'm going to get a female for him obviously I don't want to breed as I have enough animals so um, I'll be getting a young female and just making sure that they don't breed um, I've been reading up in it and that are ways, apparently, because um, I definitely don't want baby budgies. It would be cute though. But anyway, yeah, so I'm thinking of getting a f him a female and then hopefully she'll be more friendly than he is and I'll be able to, like, 
and hold her and hopefully it'll help him you know I feel like he is a bit lonely and I did always plan to eventually get him a friend and I think a female is probably the best way to go because I do think he will get on with her oh my goodness just realized this video is so long um okay I'm gonna go <laughs> um so yeah I hope you enjoyed the haul and I'll be back with more videos soon bye